Today I'm going to show you how to film and edit your own puppet movie just using your phone. Let's get started. Now using your phone to film and edit a video isn't necessarily the most ideal thing. However, a lot of times it can be very practical because it's a tool we have with us almost all the time. And one thing I know about filming and photography, the best camera in the world is the one you have when the moment counts. So even if you have a bunch of professional video equipment, it's still very handy to be able to know how to use your phone as a video tool to the best of your ability. Clearly this is not exclusive to making puppet videos. I actually use my phone to film and edit 90% of the videos on my family vlog channel. But it works great for puppet shows too. And it goes without saying that it's best practice to use a nice camera and to edit on your computer. There are very professional programs like Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, and the one I personally use, Magic's Vegas. And if you want to see a little bit more about how to film puppets with a camera, I made a video a few years ago that you can see right here. Now even on your cell phone, there are still multiple apps you could use to edit your videos. A few that I'm familiar with are Splice, Vidorama, Adobe Rush, and my personal favorite and the one we're going to use today, InShot. Now I'm going to show you some of the basic editing techniques I used in InShot. So the application looks like this, you just click it and it opens up and you see this screen. It can do some other things too apparently. So to get started, you just click video and then you click new. And then what you want to do is you want to touch all of the footage you want to use. It helps to touch in chronological order too. So let me add all this footage. Just like that, it sets up. Make sure the aspect ratio is correct. Just to make sure that, sometimes it opens up in a different format. You hit canvas, then you can click which type of format you want. It also helps that it shows what platforms it's best for. It has Instagram, TikTok, but I keep it on the YouTube one. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is how to trim the footage. There's two ways to do it. The first thing you can do is you just tap the clip and then these little bars show up on each side of it. Tap that, hold it, and then you can scrub through and it will trim the footage. The other way to trim the footage is to find the point where you want to cut it and then you hit the split tool right here. And then you can just delete the other half of it that you don't need. Now the next technique I'm going to show you is how to crop an image. If you look here in the bottom corner there, you can still see my sleeve a little bit. So what I'm going to do is tap that file, I'm going to go over to where it says canvas, tap that, and then just using my thumbs I can reposition the frame. And when I have it where I like it, you just hit the check mark, and then that's cropped. Transitions are easy too. If you look in between those two sections, there's that little white square. You just tap that and then you can choose whatever transition you'd like. So there, there's a spin one. Next is how to add a solid color slide. And for that, you hit this plus button. Then it gives you two options. You can add another video or photo or you can add a blank. And you can also add text over the image too. So type in some text. Hello and you can resize it and you can also animate it in different ways as well. You can move the text around too. If I want to, I can have it go right over the video. Next, here are some audio techniques. In order to get into the audio, you have to click the music note and then it'll give you three choices, tracks, effects, and record. If you hit effects, it shows you all sorts of different sound effects that are built into the app. Also under featured, it has some built-in music, but you can also pull music from your iTunes. So let me use an effect here, and I'm going to use this crocodile sound. I'm going to use that as a stomach growling. There we go. In this clip, I have a lot of background noise. In order to get rid of that audio, I double tap on it. Now I have two choices. I can just bring the volume all the way down, which is my preference because it's there later in case I need it, or I can extract the audio. And when the audio is extracted, I can delete it. And if you want to actually use a sound effect from something else you recorded, you can actually move it around, which is really handy. Now let's say I want to pick some music. So I'm going to go to tracks, iTunes. I'm going to pick a song. Let's see how this sounds. Good. 
Lastly, you can do an audio recording too. To do that, again, you hit the music note, then you hit record, and it'll count down right away. Dinner's ready! So I like that. Now let me move this, it was a little bit early. Explore the app too, there's a ton of other features. Lastly, once it's all done, here is how you export. You go up to this top button here, you click that, and then you hit save. While it's saving, it says, please do not lock the screen or switch to other apps. I would also recommend putting in airplane mode. That way, in case you get a text or call, it won't interfere with the render. All right, when it's done, it'll say saved. There you go, you'll get a notification that says saved and it automatically is in your camera roll. It does give you an option to automatically send it to these different platforms. However, I personally like to do it manually. Here's a time lapse of the full edit. If you wanna see this full recording, click here for the private link. So there it is, there's the basic introductory course on how to film and edit a video on your phone. From the behind the scenes footage, you may have noticed that a lot of the stuff I was doing was handheld. That can give you some more dynamic shots. For some shots, you can even just prop your phone up against something like a book or a mug or you can even order a simple little phone tripod you may even have one already and you might recognize this little guy from my first building tutorial like I said it was really quick and it kind of shows a little bit it's always better to spend more time but the purpose of this video is to train you guys on how to do it everything you're gonna see was done in under an hour that's including the idea filming the project editing the video and adding all the soundtrack so here's my short film cookie explosion See how much you can do with just your cell phone and a simple puppet? But I don't want you to think it has to be this style of puppetry. All forms of puppetry are invited and encouraged. So I'm pretty happy with how that little film came out, especially considering the amount of time I spent on it and the resources that I used. Again, the point of this video is to show you that you can do it all by yourself. It's always great and best practice to use more people, but don't let working alone stop you from being creative. In the last video, we showed all kinds of different forms of puppetry. So really try to use a lot of creativity in this. Let me know down in the comments if this video was helpful for you, but it's time for me to go kids there's a man in Oklahoma trying to make a puppet out of a live bees nest remember love with your heart use your head for everything else <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.